I'm Steve Cox, and I'm the director of The Flight Before Christmas, Shaun the Sheep Christmas Special. So the heart of the story is all about what we value at Christmas. Like Sean, he's excited in the very beginning of the film. He wants a big stocking full of presents. Throughout the course of the film, he learns that what's really important at Christmas is, is your family and your friends. <laughs> We're so used to seeing the Shaun the Sheep world. This is the first time we've really seen it at Christmas. We use absolutely millions of lights on the film, kept having to buy them in halfway through the shoot to kind of keep decorating stuff. Fairy lights draped across everything, fairy lights from all the street lights and all around the windows in the buildings. It really transforms the set with all those lights on. Christmas market was something really big to get stuck into that was new and, and different. I mean, I'm so used to the, the green world of Sean that for it suddenly to all be white at first, that was like, whoa. <laughs> Beaky, the producer was like, oh, God, we're going to cover everything in snow. Is that really going to be time consuming? But in fact, it did us a favour because a blanket of snow, it actually does what it says. Covering stuff in loads of white fleece, miles and miles of it. Rolling it over hedges. What we haven't used before is marble dust to sprinkle over everything and just give everything that sort of glistening effect. The most challenging puppet that came up was Bitsa. 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 Bitsa gets frozen in the ice block. So we ended up 3D printing a box around him to look like ice, moulding that and casting it in clear resin. So the ice is obviously see-through, so there's nowhere to attach to it. So what we ended up doing is putting little steel hoops, at, tiny, tiny ones at the corner of the top of the ice block. And then it had fishing wire coming off each corner, and it was almost like a marionette puppet set up. Sure. The animator would like twist each corner to make him swing himself around and, and slide and things. So the trick was to try and get him not to move, but also to get the block to move in a realistic way with the weight. And yeah, it's a funny scene, it's, it's a good one. One of the most challenging things about this production, I don't know if everyone knows, but we have been shooting it during the coronavirus pandemic. Our units, we've made them larger so that we can have social distancing. We had to make these huge sets that felt like they were just sort of sitting in the middle of a unit. So it was really difficult to feel together. But we got around that. We had a daily morning meeting, we had it on Zoom. We actually had every single person on the crew attend. And it's things we hadn't thought about, like getting puppets to the animators. We have a certain number of puppets. We don't just have one Sean. Sorry, everybody, we do have about 18 Sean the Sheeps, I think. <laughs> but making sure that when they've been used by one animator, they're sanitised properly. And obviously that can cause challenges because their mouths are made from plasticine and they've got fluff all over them. So we've been coming up with new ways to make sure that everything's clean, ready to use for the next animator. Christmas is magical, isn't it? In half an hour, we've crammed in loads of exciting things. We've tried to kind of get that magic in, into Christmas. We've got flying sleigh. It's not only a comedy. It's not only heartwarming. There's action. There's a chase sequence. It's got the whole emotional range going on. Lots of presents under the Christmas tree and big stockings. And... The gags are really good. The sets are beautiful. The characters are great. We've tried to stretch everything as far as we can, every gag, every emotional moment. Overall, it's just a lovely, heartwarming Christmassy tales, and it's just going to be loads of fun. Oh, no.